The first question of this exercise says, solve the following pair of linear equations by the elimination method and the substitution method. So we are given four pairs of linear equations and for each pair, we have to solve it using both elimination as well as substitution. So let's start with the first part. So the first part is x plus y equal to 5 and 2x minus 3y equal to 4. So let's first do this using elimination. So we have x plus y equal to 5 and we have 2x minus 3y equal to 4. So what I will do is I will make the coefficient of x in the first part equal to 2 so that the coefficients of x in both the equations match. So I can do that by multiplying the first equation by 2 and if I do that I get this modified equation 2x plus 2y is equal to 10. So now I have these two equations so let's call this 1 and let's call this 2 and now by doing 2 minus 1 so subtracting equation 1 from equation 2 what do I get on the LHS so on the LHS the 2x and 2x will cancel out and I will be left with 2y minus minus 3y so 2y minus minus 3y on the LHS and on the RHS I will get 10 minus 4 10 minus 4. So this gives me 5y is equal to 6 or y is equal to 6 by 5. And now because y is equal to 6 by 5, now I can find x using any of these two equations. So let's use x plus y equal to 5. So x should be equal to 5 minus y or 5 minus 6 by 5 and this is equal to 25 minus 6 or 19 by 5. So x is equal to 19 by 5 and y is equal to 6 by 5. Okay, now let's solve the same pair of equations using substitution. So again, the pair of equations is x plus y equal to 5 and 2x minus 3y is equal to 4. So from the first equation, let me write x in terms of y. So x can be written as 5 minus y. And let me substitute this value of x into the second equation. So the second equation is 2x or 2 times 5 minus y. So 2 times 5 minus y minus 3y is equal to 4. Now this is an equation in y alone. So let's solve it to find the value of y. So we get 2 into 5 minus y or 10 minus 2y minus 3y is equal to 4 or 10 minus 5y is equal to 4 or 5y. So I can isolate 5y is equal to 6 or y is equal to 6 by 5. So once again, I get the same value I, as I get in the first uh, using elimination. And once I have y equal to 6 by 5, I can substitute this into x is equal to 5 minus y. So x will be equal to 19 by 5 once again, 19 by 5. So the answer to this pair of equations, the solution is x is equal to 19 by 5 and y is equal to 6 by 5. Okay, the second pair of equations is 3x plus 4y equal to 10 and 2x minus 2y equal to 2. So let's first solve this pair using elimination. So we have 3x plus 4y equal to 10 and 2x minus 2y is equal to 2. So now we can see that the coefficient of y is 4 in the first equation and minus 2 in the second equation. So I can modify the second equation so that the numerical magnitude of the coefficient of y is the same in both equations. So if I multiply the second equation by 2 on both sides, this minus 2 will turn into minus 4 and then I can add the two equations. So let's do that. So if I multiply the second equation by 2, I will get 
फोर एक्स माइनस फोर वाई इज इक्वल टू फोर सो नाउ आई हैव दीज टू इक्वेशन सो लेट्स कॉल दिस फर्स्ट इक्वेशन वन एंड लेट्स कॉल दिस मॉडिफाइड सेकेंड इक्वेशन टू एंड नाउ इफ आई डू वन प्लस टू इफ आई डू वन प्लस टू दिस फोर वाई एंड माइनस फोर वाई विल कैंसिल आउट एंड ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड आई विल हैव थ्री एक्स प्लस फोर एक्स सो दैट्स थ्री एक्स प्लस फोर एक्स ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड एंड ऑन द राइट साइड आई विल हैव टेन एंड फोर सो टेन प्लस फोर एंड दिस गिवस मी सेवन एक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर्टीन और एक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर्टीन बाई सेवन और टू सो वंस आई गेट एक्स आई कैन फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई बाई सब्सटीट्यूटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इन एनी ऑफ द टू इक्वेशन सो लेट्स डू दैट इन द फर्स्ट इक्वेशन सो थ्री एक्स विच इज इक्वल टू सिक्स प्लस फोर वाई इज इक्वल टू टेन विच मीन्स दैट फोर वाई इज इक्वल टू टेन माइनस सिक्स और फोर और वाई इज इक्वल टू वन सो द आंसर टू दिस पेयर ऑफ इक्वेशन द सोल्यूशन इज एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू एंड वाई इज इक्वल टू वन Now let's arrive at the same answer using substitution. So in substitution, what we can do is take any of the equations and find one of the variables in terms of the other. So let me take the second equation: two x minus two y is equal to two, and write x in terms of y. So two x is equal to two y plus two, and From here, I can write x is equal to two y plus two divided by two or y plus one. So x is equal to y plus one, and now I can substitute this into the second equation. So the second, the first equation. So the first equation is three x plus four y is equal to ten. So here I will substitute instead of x, I can write y plus one. So three times, three times y plus one. so this is the substitution i'm doing plus 4y this is equal to 10 now let's expand this so we get 3y plus 3 plus 4y is equal to 10 or on the left side i get 7y 3y plus 4y is 7y and i can take this 3 on the right and that gives me 7y equal to 7 or y is equal to 1 and because y is equal to 1 and x is equal to y plus 1 x is equal to y plus 1 from here i can write x is equal to 2 so once again we arrive at the same answer x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1 this is the solution of this pair of equations in the third part the pair of equations is 3x minus 5y minus 4 equal to 0 and 9x equal to 2y plus 7 So let's first solve this pair using elimination. So the first equation is three x minus five y minus four is equal to zero, and the second equation is nine x equal to two y plus seven. So let's bring the RHS terms on the LHS to write it in the standard form. So nine x minus two y minus seven is equal to zero. so this is the pair of equations and we can see that the coefficient of x in the first equation is 3 and in the second equation is 9 so i can modify the first equation so that the coefficients of x match in the two equations and i can do that by multiplying the first equation by 3 because that will turn 3x into 9x so let's do that so once i do that once i multiply the first equation by 3 i will get 9x Minus fifteen y minus twelve is equal to zero. And now all I have to do is I have to subtract these two equations, and that will eliminate x and enable us to find the value of y. So let's call this equation one, and let's call this equation two. So what we can do now is one minus two. So by doing this, what do we get? So we get minus two y minus minus fifteen y. So minus two y, and this becomes plus because of the double negative sign. So minus two y plus fifteen uh, y, and then minus seven, and then minus minus twelve or plus twelve. This is equal to 
0. So this gives me minus 2y plus 15y is 13y. 13y and minus 7 plus 12 is 5. So 13y plus 5 is equal to 0 or y is equal to minus 5 by 13. So this is the value of y. And now let's find the value of x using this. So from by substituting this value of y minus 5 by 13 into the first equation, I can find the value of x. So we have 3x minus 5y. So minus 5y will be 25 by 13 minus 4 is equal to 0. And this will give me 3x and 25 by 13 minus 4 is minus 27 by 13. So I can take it to the right side. So that's 27 by 13. So 3x is equal to 27 by 13 or x is equal to 9 by 13. So the solution to this pair of equations is x is equal to 9 by 13 and y is equal to minus 5 by 13. Let's see if we get the same answer using substitution now. So in substitution, let me take the second equation and write x in terms of y. So we have the second equation as 9x equal to 2y plus 7. And from here I can write x is equal to 2y plus 7 by 9. And now let's substitute this value of x into the first equation. So the first equation is 3x minus 5y minus 4 equal to 0. So instead of x, let's write this expression in y, 2y plus 7 by 9. So we have 2y plus 7 by 9. And then we have minus 5y minus 4. This is equal to 0. So now let's simplify this. So 3 and this 9 cancel to give 3. So 2y plus 7 by 3. This is equal to, so I can take these two terms on the right side. So this is equal to 5y plus 4. And now let's cross multiply this 3. So I will get 2y plus 7 is equal to 15y plus 12. And finally, let me take this 2y to the right side subtracted from 15y so that's 13y and this 2 on this side subtracted from 7 so 13y is equal to 5 or y is equal to 5 by 13. So now this is an equation in y alone so let's simplify it and find the value of y. So we have 3 times 3 is 9. So the first term becomes 2y plus 7 by 3. And these two terms minus 5y minus 4, let me take them to the RHS and write them as 5y plus 4. And now let's cross multiply 3 on the right side. And that will give me 2y plus 7 is equal to 15y plus 12. And now let's take this 2y to the right side, subtract it from 15y, so that's 13y. And then we have 12 subtracted from 7, so that's minus 5. So 13y is equal to minus 5, or y is equal to minus 5 by 13. So this is exactly the same value that we got using elimination. And now using this value of y, we can substitute this into any of the two equations. Uh, we can substitute this into this expression for x and we will get the value of x as 9 by 13 once again. So the answer to this, the solution to this pair of equations is x is equal to 9 by 13 and y is equal to minus 5 by 13. In the fourth part, the pair of equations is x by 2 plus 2y by 3 equal to minus 1 and x minus y by 3 is equal to 3. So let's first solve this pair using elimination. So the two equations are x by 2 plus 2y by 3 is equal to minus 1 and x minus y by 3 is equal to 3. Now 
we can eliminate both either of the two variables x or y so the coefficient of x in the first equation is half and in the second equation is 1 so if I multiply the first equation by 2 I can match the coefficients of x and then eliminate x I could also eliminate y because the coefficient of y in the first equation is 2 by 3 and in the second equation is minus 1 by 3 so I could multiply the second equation by 2 and then add the two equations to eliminate y so I can choose either of the two so let me choose to eliminate x so to do that I will multiply the first equation by 2 on both sides and write this equation as x plus 4y by 3 is equal to minus 2 so now I have this equation let's call it 1 and this modified form of the first equation let's call it 2 and now I can simply do 2 minus 1 so 2 by doing this 2 minus 1 I will eliminate x and on the LHS I will get 4y by 3 minus and this minus y by 3 so minus y by 3 on the left side and on the right side I will have minus 2 minus 3 so this is what we get so 4y by 3 plus minus minus y by 3 is plus y by 3 so that's 5y by 3 on the LHS and on the RHS we have minus 5 and this gives us y equal to minus 3 so y is equal to minus 3 and now from any of the two equations we can find the value of x so let's substitute the value of y in this equation so x should be equal to y by 3 plus 3 so because y is minus 3 y by 3 is minus 1 so minus 1 plus 3 is minus 2 so the solution to this pair is x is equal to minus 2 and y is equal to minus 3 now let's check if we will get the same values using substitution so in substitution let me take the second equation and write x in terms of y so x is equal to y by 3 plus 3 so this is from the second equation now let's substitute this value of x into the first equation so the first equation is x by 2 plus 2y by 3 equal to minus 1 so instead of x let me write y by 3 plus plus 3 this expression in y so y by 3 plus 3 and then we have plus 2y by 3 is equal to minus 1 now this is an equation in y alone so let's solve it to find the value of y so y by 3 plus 3 by 2 this first term can be written as y by 6 plus 3 by 2 and then we have this 2y by 3 this is equal to minus 1 so if I now add y by 6 and 2y by 3 so let's make the LCM equal so 2y by 3 can be written as 4y by 6 that plus y by 6 is 5y by 6 and then I can take this 3 by 2 to the right side so minus 1 minus 3 by 2 is minus 5 by 2 and from here if I if I isolate y I will get y is equal to minus 5 by 2 into 6 by 5 and this is equal to minus 3 once again so y is equal to minus 3 and this matches what we got from elimination and once we have the value of y we can substitute it into this expression for x in terms of y and we will get x as minus 2 again so the solution to this pair of equations is x is equal to minus 2 and y is equal to minus 3 to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams Explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.